Hello, everyone. So we are back again. Okay, so in the first section, I have brief described the data set for you. So next, this section, so uh, we have to download the folders. So you have download the folders here. So there are, uh, so you may download the last three files. So it, these three files, German credit data. So please save to your folder. So my folder is R bank. So you may save on your desktop or maybe you can save on your USB driver. So I, I'm saving this three file to a folder mean R bank. So you may have the same folder R smite save. The first, the first one, save the second files. Also save the last one. So it is a, a word format. Okay, so you can go to the folders. Just we uh, download these three files. Okay, so you may find a data mean uh, extension name is data. So you may have uh, to check with their extension file. So you mean, so this data set is end with data. So you may change this data as CSV. as CSV extended. Okay, so we just change the extension file from dot data to dot CSV. When you change the extension file name as dot CSV, so you may open this file in two ways. First, you can click your the, you can click on your the right button of your mouse to open your file with no pad. So here you can find it. It's separate, so each color is separate by space. We call it combine space. So you may open this file with Excel. But when you open this file, the data set, it cannot separate each color right. Because it's separated by space. So you can do with the data in Excel here. You can use here, data. You can import the data from text file. Here, our bank. German duck CSV. So you may import this data. So my data set doesn't have a header. 
So we go next. Sprayer, not tab. So the sprayer is blank. 空白键 space white space. Okay, so go next next step. So here you can find each color is separate perfectly. Okay, done. So we save the import data set into a new shift. Okay, so you got this one. You got this one. This is original one. So you may delete this shift. So you can keep the data like this format. And so, and also to save, to save it again. Okay. So we close Excel. Okay, save it again. Okay, so you may try to open it again to see is the format is correct or not. So you may find there are twenty one columns here. So how many attributes here? So we call column one, column B, column C. So there are all attributes. So how many attributes here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. So we got twenty-one attributes. So you may find. The data set here. Description: How many attributes? Twenty, but we got twenty-one, right? Because the last one, the last one attributes is the credit risk. It's the credit risk for each variables. Okay, so. Right now we have to add the header for each column, the color name for each column, since because the original data set doesn't contain header for each one, so you have to add each variable column's name for each. Okay, so right now we insert one row. Okay, so we insert one row here. For the first one, so you can go back to the database description here, because the first one, first attribute is status. Of existing checking account, so you can you may use the checking account as the variables name. Okay, checking account. But delete the white space between these two words. So I just to. Delete the space, and also make the A as up big A, so it's e easy to read. For the first column name, we call checking account, right? <coughs> so checking account. 
So there are status for each customer. For the first customer, you may see the status for the checking account is A11. What is A11 means? I have talked before. A11 it means it did it doesn't have any money left for this checking account. Can you find the attribute the status for A14? A14 here. So for the for this customer, he doesn't has a checking account. No checking account. Okay. So you have to do is to name all the variables name. This is the second one. Duration in months. You can you may use duration months. Or you just use duration is okay. So this customer has contact has the connect uh, has has opened their saving account with this bank more than six months. The second one is more than 40A is almost four years. So it, be, uh, it describes how long does this customer do in the business with this bank, how long. Okay, so the, for the third one, so you have to do all the job by yourself. But it's kind of time consuming job because you have to label all the variables by yourself. But fortunately, I have given you the form. I give you a CSV file in names bank 02.csv. So you may open. So I have named all the colors name for you guys. So you may enter your own variables for yourself. Or maybe you, you can use the data set which I have modified for you guys. So you may download from Island Systems. Okay, so next section is telling you how to import the data set and had if the data set doesn't have any header. So you have to create the color header for you. Okay? Okay, it's okay, so let us uh, end this section. See you guys later.